Shalom Yashar Allah First and foremost I'd like to start this lesson By giving all praises, honour and glory To the Heavenly Father and His Only Begotten Son Yahawah, Bahashim, Yahawah Shai, Bahashim, Rechach, Badash Double honours to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone Who rule well And taught me this 100% truth Double salutations to the Archean Out there spreading this word and truth and sincerity And Shalom to the few Akwath that's listening in today I'm back at you with another lesson entitled The time of trouble is fastly approaching all right, we see what's going on over with you know Russia and Ukraine and how all their aligned countries across the four corners of the earth will be plunged into this war in due time. Now with that being said, we also understand that we have a few more prophecies that need to be fulfilled before it heads into a complete and utter nuclear destruction For example We still have the, the C-HIP that we're waiting for The MOTB Written about in Revelation 13 and 16 We've got the time of Jacob's trouble That we uh, are still waiting for Written in Jeremiah 30 and 7 The famine of the word This word is still accessible Um Via, you know, the various streaming platforms You know Brothers going out on the highways and the byways But we know pursuing to Amos 8 and 11 There will be the famine of the word In 2nd Ezra chapter 9 It tells us to measure down the times diligently And we do that Through these prophecies Okay So we know That nuclear destruction isn't going to come within two weeks Unless all those prophecies that I just mentioned Happen within two weeks Okay And um What was I going to say, my mind just went blank So lucky Um Damn Yeah, but ultimately What the Heavenly Father is doing Is he's stirring up the pot Alright, he is, he, he's putting things In place so that by the time You know All those Prophecies that I just mentioned previously By the time all those things have taken place The nukes are going to be ready to fly It's not going to be a thing of where All those prophecies are going to take place And then there's going to be the build up To the nuclear destruction Because the build up to the nuclear destruction Is happening right now Okay And we have the understanding That Uh you know That time is upon us You know And by <laughs> So lucky I'm just in traffic right now And I was just dealing with a certain situation um, But yeah So by the time all those prophecies are fulfilled The nukes are going to be ready to fly man You know we're not going to have to wait For the build up then For the nuclear destruction Because it's building as we speak So it's all happening simultaneously all right, that's that's the beautiful work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, and um, this time of trouble that we're heading into, all right, we are going to need protection. We are going to need deliverance, man. We we won't be able to survive these times via um, our own means. We're going to need divine intervention to take place. In order for us to survive these times that are fastly approaching you know but we need to remember that we serve a living and true power and the lord is going to show us that and he's already been showing us that but it's just going to escalate in how he's going to show us that he's fighting for us man you know so we need to keep the faith as we know those who endure until the end the same shall be saved right so without further ado, let's jump into the scriptures. Today, the main focus is going to be Psalms 91. All right, because, um, you know, the times we're heading into, I believe this is a very important psalm to keep in your heart. OK, so let's start at the top. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High 
shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And what's the secret place of the Most High? These precepts, you know, occupying yourself in these prophecies. That's the secret place of the Most High. Because any Tom, Dick and Harry can pick up the Bible, all right? But, but, but will they have the true understanding of the Bible? That's the question. That's what makes this a secret. Amos 3 and 7 says, Surely the Most High will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, right? And we believe that we're his servants. So, and therefore we have his secrets, which we reveal unto the hopeful elect. Let's just quickly go to the Apocrypha, the hidden books. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Isn't that not what we do? Aren't we seeking out all the wisdom of the ancient? Aren't we occupied in prophecies? Right? This is the secret place of the Most High. Okay? And those that abide in it are going to be protected and are going to be under the shadow of the Almighty. All right? So, you know, you are immensely blessed to receive this wisdom, knowledge and understanding which can potentially save your life if you be of the elect. All right? So, so this is a, a precious gift from the heavens, man, and it should be valued. Okay? It should be valued, man. But anyways, let's go back to Psalms 91. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, He is my refuge and my fortress. My power in Him will I trust. Okay? We are going to trust in the Lord, man. We are not going to trust in Esau Edom. All right, the harbinger of death. Two thirds of our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel, are going to trust in Esau Edom. And that's going to be to their demise. Read Jeremiah 17 and 5. Okay, read um, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1 to 3. All right, verse, Psalms 91, verse 3. Surely he will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Okay, that 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 noisome pestilence is the um, the nuclear missiles because once they hit, it's going to make a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. You see, and two thirds of our people are being ensnared into this beast system. All right. But those who trust in the Lord are going to be saved from that and won't be deceived uh, by the wiles of the devil, man. All right. Which the physical counterpart of the devil, if you don't know, is the so-called white man, Esau Edom. That's his biblical identity. Okay. Psalms 91 verse 4 he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his trust sorry his truth shall be thy shield and buckler yeah Isaiah 33 and 6 wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times you know and the strength of salvation is this Wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the scriptures That's going to spare us That's going to save our lives man You know This is the ticket Into the chariot Having the true understanding Of the bible Knowing the true names Of the heavenly father And his only begotten son That's what's going to save our lives man It says his truth Shall be thy shield and buckler Damn right That's why You know Revelation 3 and 11 hold fast unto thy crown roughly paraphrasing man which would which would represent this 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 the understanding of this of this uh knowledge okay we're not meant to let go of it because this is what's going to save us man if we be a part of the elect um verse five 
Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. So we're not going to be afraid. All right, we shouldn't be afraid. We should only fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh who's bringing forth all these plagues. We're not going to uh, uh, fear the terror by night. You know, all the madness that's going to be going on during Jacob's trouble, because um. It says in the Apocrypha that Esau is going to be like a madman, sparing none. All right. Spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Okay. Nor for the arrow that flieth by day, which will be uh, uh, those nuclear missiles, man. You know. Because it's, it's our faith, our hope, our belief that, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai, us, the hopeful elect, are going to be. Delivered from this time of trouble And um, ultimately Via those chariots man Which the world ignorantly calls UFOs Okay Verse 6 Nor for the pestilence That walketh in darkness Nor for the destruction That wasteth at noonday You know we, we've got many uh, pestilences On the horizon and, and, and you know there's many more to come Especially those that take the, the, the MOTB Revelation 16 and 2 says that they shall receive a, uh, a noisome and grievous sore Which basically translates into a cancer Those that take the MOTB are gonna, are, are gonna suffer immensely man on, on, you know, on all aspects You know, internally and externally Alright um, and noonday, that's 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 pretty much going to be May Day, man. When when all hell breaks loose, all right. That's the noonday. Verse seven. What's going on? Nope, it's rubbish, man. Of course, can't turn into that. Well, it's lucky. Um, verse seven: A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Yeah, because we're gonna see. We're heading into a time where we're going to see great death, great destruction, you know, and, and, and that's why we have to stay in the spirit because the Lord is going to put a, a, a cold spirit on his elect to be able to, 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 to stomach the things that we're going to be witnessing. All right. We're going to be witnessing family members dying, friends dying, neighbors and, and, and just many, many people that we don't even know But we're just going to be seeing so much death On a grand level You know And, and you know, we're going to have to be able to stomach it, man Okay These times are fastly approaching And there, there's, there's, you know There's no way to avoid it, man You know, we just have to pray that the Lord puts a heavy spirit on us To be able to deal with it Verse 8 Only with thine eyes Shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked Yeah So we're going to behold and see the reward of the wicked with our eyes man We're going to witness all these things And we're going to be giving praises to Yahweh That despite all this happening You know He is protecting us Psalms 34 and 7 The angel of the Lord encampeth around them that fear him Okay So we're going to have the angels encamping around us man You know the, the, those right hand side angels And then we're going to see How those death angels Are going to be uh, Jacking up the rest of the people Two thirds of our people That didn't believe And, and the heathen nations man Boy is that going to be a sight to see Alright Verse 9 Because thou has made The Lord Which is my refuge Even the most high Thy habitation And that's what we do We call on the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh in, in, in our times of trouble we praise it even when everything is going well, man. We're constantly giving reverence to the name of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um, verse 10. There shall no evil before thee. Yeah. So because of our faith, because of our belief, because we're constantly giving praises to Yahweh Shai, where um, no evil shall befall thee, neither shall any play come nigh thy dwelling. So we're going to be all right, man. This is the faith that we have to have. All right, we need to have that 144% faith because as we know, it is, um, 
you know, it is impossible to fear the Lord, I mean, to please the Lord without having that faith. Roughly paraphrasing um, um, Hebrews 11 and 6, right? So we need to have that faith, man, wholeheartedly believing in the name, believing in the gospel and that the Lord will deliver us from this time of trouble as it is written, okay? Bear with me, let's just turn at this junction. Verse 11, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Yeah. So, as I said, Psalm 34 and 7, the angel of the Lord encampeth around those that fear him. You know? So, he's going to give his angels charge over thee, man. And they're the ones that's going to be able to. Um, what's this guy doing, bro? It's just crazy out here, man. Anyways, you know, his angels are going to fight for us, man. And, uh, and you know, one of the, the angels that we know is going to be out here in these times is Michael. That great archangel. Let's read Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time, shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, Such as never was since there was a nation. It's a lucky. Let me read that again. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble. We are heading into that time of trouble. That time of trouble is fastly approaching. All right. Such as never was there, uh, uh, never was since there was a nation to that same time. And at, the, the, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And who are the ones written in the book? The elect. Okay, but as it says, there's going to be a time of trouble as never before. And it's going to get so bad out here that that great archangel Michael is going to have to come down and fight for us, man. So when we go back to Psalms 91... And verse 11 It says uh, For he shall give his angels charge over thee To keep thee in all thy ways Yeah because um, You know we're going to be guided By the Racha Kodash The Holy Spirit Which we believe are the angels You know like how when we get The divine inspiration to do these lessons uh, That's the angels Ministering unto us Working on our minds And you know we're also going to see these angels physically manifest. They're going to be riding around in the chariots and, and they're going to be causing havoc, man. They're going to be spoiling and destroying the wicked. Those who didn't believe. They're going to be fighting for the elect. You know, we're, we're, we're going to see some, some, some things, man, in, the, in these last days. You best believe that. We're going <laughs> to... People are not going to believe their eyes, man. You know? But that's the times that we're heading into and, and we have the wisdom, knowledge and understanding to, to know of these things To mentally prepare ourselves For what's going to happen You know, because what is going to happen Is inevitable at this point There is no denying the validity of the scriptures now Alright Verse 12 They shall bear thee up in their hands Lest that thou dash thy foot against a stone all right, so the angels are going to look after us, man. We ain't going to, uh, um, um, you know, dash our foot against the stone, man. You know, we're going to be good in that day as long as we keep the faith. You see? Bear with me a second, Israel. So like here. Verse 13 Thou shalt tread upon a lion Upon the lion and the adder The young lion And the dragon Shall thou trample under feet Alright so, so you know the, the, ain't, the animals ain't gonna have charge over us Esau, Edom Ain't gonna have charge over us The dragon, the beast Alright 
you know we're, we're gonna prevail in that day you know the Lord is gonna fight for us and one of the ways the Lord is gonna fight for us is by fighting through us you know let's quickly go to uh, um, Luke chapter 10 verse 17 sorry and verse 19 behold i give unto you power to tread on scorpions on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy all right no weapon formed against thee shall prosper and nothing nothing no thing shall by any means hurt you because the spirit of the lord is going to be upon his elect the angels are going to fight for us you see verse 20 notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you right but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven because that's that's the prize man that our names are written in heaven and 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 that you know we're gonna prevail in this time of trouble in this time of great destruction man that's what we should be rejoicing in and that we're going to re receive that beautiful salvation okay so this is psalms 91 and uh and 14 and it reads second. psalms 91 and 14 because he hath set his love upon me therefore will i deliver him yeah so because we have labored in this truth, we have set our love upon Yahweh Hashem Yahashai, we trusted in his holy name. We, uh, you know, we kept the faith until the very end, right? We will be delivered because of that. Okay, it says, I will set him on high because he have known my name. We're going to be dwelling in high places. You know, the chariots. We're going to be watching the destruction of the wicked um, 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 above the firmament in the chariots you know also known as the ozone layer and you can read about uh, uh, that in uh, what's that that's either revelation 15 and 2 yeah revelation 15 and 2 you know you've got the sea of glass the firmament mingled with fire that that's going to be uh, uh, um, that nuclear destruction that's what it's talking about okay because he hath known my name yeah, you got camps like the IUIC talking about we don't have the name oh we'll get the name in the kingdom no we've got the name now because we're going to be calling on the names of Yahweh Shai in our time of trouble to save us from the time of trouble man so so don't be talking about oh we don't have the names we don't have the name we got the names man who, who, otherwise if we didn't have the names who, who are we going to call on in the time of trouble because Jesus Christ ain't going to deliver you ain't going to deliver you man Allah is not going to deliver you. Buddha is not going to deliver you, man. So we, we, we have to have the names in order to be saved. That's why it says, because he hath known my name. Which again, is also a secret, man. But it's, you know, when you start off in verse 1, what does it say? He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So those who have the true names, the true understanding of the Bible, are going to be the ones that, that dwell um, under the shadow of the Almighty that are going to be protected in these last days okay verse 15 he shall call upon me and I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will deliver him and honor him all right that, that's what the Lord is going to do for us man this is the heritage of the Saints all right verse 16 with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. All right, so our hope is not to be destroyed. Our faith and belief is, you know, Lord willing, we be of the elect and we're gonna be delivered from these times, man. You know, so, so we don't have to be like two thirds of our people that fear the things that are coming down the pipeline, you know? Now, a lot of people are becoming, are accepting the reality of, of a nuclear destruction, right? Because it, it, it's so clear now.
you know it, it, it's blatant it's right in your face but we have uh, been building our spirit up via these scriptures man you know returning to our power understanding that this is the will of the heavenly father Yahweh, man and, and 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 you know it has to come to pass so we need to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, not not what they're bringing, man. With the hopes that we're going to be delivered, and that we've done all that we can in the flesh to um, um, ensure our salvation, man. Okay. So hopefully this lesson has been edifying. And until the next time, I say Shalom.